WNAT Television. I wonder about the assistant producer position. Are you married? Yes. Hey. The producer's assistant's not the best job for a housewife. Why should I hire you? Because I didn't know that a Negro woman television producer even existed. <laughs> method to my madness. I find reasons to fall in love with that person. You know, I'll look at their eyes and go, my gosh, they're the most beautiful. Or, you know, I'll, the way they laugh or the way they move. But in the context of the scene, especially if they're setting up or if, that, if, if it's their coverage, et cetera, et cetera, I try to just find reasons why that person is just really extraordinary. And you can do that like in life too. I mean, and, and it doesn't have to be physical. It could be something like, it could be anything. It could be really anything. You can notice, oh, they always wear that necklace, you know? I wonder what that necklace is. You know, just curiosity, I do think is the, is the, is the fertile ground in which chemistry grows. I don't know that I could depict friendship without actually being friends in real life, you know? And I think so much of the the little nuances of what it is to depict friendship. Like if, you know, when, when, when you and your girls go out and there's another table of you and your girls, um, out. <laughs> there are a lot of similarities, you know what I mean? It's like, there's, 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 it's funny because this will all become clear later, but I can't talk about it now. But yeah, that, that I just recently did something that was a, a, a sort of a, a parody on that. But there is, there are little things that we do in terms of black women and how we relate to one another and sort of our shorthand for things and how we as groups of friends develop different shorthands and jokes and inside jokes and, you know, all of that stuff. And I do think that that's a lived reality and a lived experience that I've had. I just draw from that. Um, and fortunately, I've had, I've, the, most of the people that I've been in scenes with or had to work with have also had that same um, background. Um, and it's, it's, made it, it's made it a lot easier in that way. When you're an actor, you you have you you get to a point where you do you are able to understand other jobs, you know, because you kind of have to. So you understand the director to a certain extent. You understand the person because you have to be able to communicate with people, you know, on on in their world with their lingo, whatever that is, you know. And so I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about being a conduit for other people's ideas. I'm excited and excited about you know, bringing books that I love to life and, and, and different projects. I'm, I'm, it's a, it's a lot of work. My husband has a production company. He just keeps telling me, you know, it's, he calls me bird, bird. It's a lot of work, bird. It's a lot of work. And when he says that, I know what he means is, am I still going to get food? <laughs> like, are the kids going to get bathed? Like, how is this going to happen? Like, I know that's what he's thinking. Cause he's like, I don't do none of that stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see, but you know, all things happen at the right time when they're supposed to happen. So, you know, here we go. Big girl panties. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>